Hi guys, in today's episode I want to show you this cool new tool that I just got. Um, this is a non-contact infrared thermometer. Uh, this one's by Newbie, uh, and you can pick it up on Amazon for about 14 bucks. Uh, what this does is all objects in the universe emit what they call black body radiation, uh, which means just because they have heat within them, they emit some of that heat as infrared radiation. Uh, so what this does is this picks up that infrared radiation and uses it to determine the temperature of the object that's emitting it. And this one's got a laser, uh, laser targeting system on it, uh, so you always know exactly what you're pointing at. Um, it says my hand is about 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's probably about right. Um, let's see what it says on my forehead. 87, 88. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. Um, you know, you can go around the house and point at the corners of the room and find out, you know, where the where the heat is leaking out through the roof. Uh, right now, my ceiling in here is about 68 degrees. Uh, the interior walls are also about 68 degrees. So presumably, there's no real bad uh, cold spots in this room. Uh, but there's an attic above me, so that's probably why. <clears throat> so anyway, what does this have to do with 3D printing, you might ask? Well, everything. I definitely recommend everybody have one of these in their toolbox uh, if you're 3D printing, and here's why. First of all, uh, let's say you're heating up your, uh, your heat bed, and you want to know, uh, you know, do you have cold spots, hot spots? Uh, this, this up plus two that tends to have a really bad hot spot in the center and be really cold around the edges. Um, but here's what this is really handy for. So I had uh, some issues feeding some of my filaments and uh, I was using a lot of cooling at the time, had some windows open, things like that, and I suspected that my extruder was failing to keep up uh, proper temperature and the filament was hardening inside of it. Um, so what I did was I got it, I fired it up, and I'm going to do so now. Um, so I fired it up, and uh, it's, it's heating up right now. And then what I did was I get it, got under here and started looking at the extruder uh, to see if it was really getting up to the temperature that it was supposed to be. Um, and one thing I noticed at first was when I pointed it at the shiny metal parts, uh, it was giving me really low readings and uh, it turns out that that's because those objects are very reflective and it doesn't work on reflective surfaces uh, so you want a nice matte surface to get a good temperature reading so what I do is I get in there and I aim it right up at the burned plastic area where there's just a black mass of plastic and uh, right now that's reading 127. I'm going to put this on Celsius so I know what I'm talking about. Um, we're getting, that's 100 and something Celsius. But you want to get it right up in there, right at the base of the nozzle, right where the nozzle meets the heat block. <clears throat> get right up in there and get a nice piece of burned plastic. Yeah. you got to find just the right spot. So after a little bit of finagling and uh, getting in there and finding just the right angle, um, I was able to get pretty reliable readings of about 195 Celsius. Uh, I had the extruder set on 215. Um, it's not going to get quite as hot on the outside as it is in that core inside. So I think that that's pretty good. Um, it's also possible that the calibration could be a little bit off on here. I'll have to do another experiment sometime to uh, try to find that out, try to get the exact calibration. Um, but it's brand new, it should be pretty accurate I would think. Um, so this goes from uh, negative 50C up to uh, around 380C. Uh, so that should be as hot as your extruder is getting uh, unless you're printing maybe polycarbonate or something uh, real high temperature. Um, 
But anyway, um, so that's pretty much it, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.